Hello everyone, welcome to Blue Chelsea TV. Welcome to another exciting video here on the channel. If you are energized like I am, then smash that subscribe button for future videos. Turn on the bell icon to stay on the forefront whenever a new video drops. With that said and done, let's break things down. Chelsea will be looking to start their pre-season campaign on a high note as they face Wrexham on the 20th this month. Many new faces are going to dominate the squad given most first-team players were sold. I am going to give my predicted lineup for the game with two potential lineups, that is 4-3-3 and 4-3-2-1. Let's begin with my predicted lineup on 4-3-3. Goalkeeping position, I will go with Kepa Rizabalaga. Chelsea are not in talks with another keeper, which means Kepa is the undisputed number one for the position. Slonina could likely replace him in the second half to try and impress the coach. For the right fullback, I pick Trevor Chalaba to start. Rhys James won't be available as he is still being monitored by the medical team after an injury scare. On centre-back I will go for Badiashile and call Will as Pochettino stated earlier he won't have a problem pairing two left-footed centre-halves. He could use this as an opportunity to see how effective could this partnership be. On the left-back position, I will go with Chilwell. Despite ending the previous season with injuries, Chilwell has really worked hard back towards fitness, and he looks more than ready to get started. For the three-man midfield, I will go with Enzo, Santos, and Chuck Womwika. Since the deal for Moises Caicedo is yet to be completed, Enzo would have to play this role to link up with defenders to start the play from the back, while Santos can operate as a box-to-box -box mid as he has displayed previously with Brazil U18 team. Chukumweka can then link up with Jackson in the box as Sterling and Kunku makes those cut-ins behind the box. On the right wing side, I will go with Sterling whom operates well in a 4-3-3 formation. His speed during counters can help create more chances. On the left wing, I chose Nkunku. Nkunku is versatile and can fit anywhere in the front three. His dribbling ability and speed, just like Sterling, could help create more threat, with Mudrick replacing him in the second half, could be possible. To finish things, striker will no doubt be one Nicholas Jackson who finished the previous season on a although, Chelsea are still in the market for a new main striker. We will wait to see what happens in the transfer. That was our first lineup under 4-3-3. Now let's take a look at my prediction for 4-3-2-1. Here, I've gone for Kepa in goal as usual, as Slonina would be given some minutes in the second half. My two center backs will be different from the other formation as I will use Thiago Silver and Wesley Fofana as this formation will likely create more pressure and counter-attacks against Chelsea in case they lose the ball. This will require the leadership of Thiago Silva at the back, with a skillful partner like Fofana to deal with such threats. For the left and right back, I go for Chilwell and Chalaba respectively. Malo Gusto doesn't look ready to start just yet, but may come in later in the second half. Ian Matson might replace Chilwell, as Pochettino is keen to access the talent, with Cucurella more likely to leave the club. For the double pivot. I will go with Gallagher and Enzo Fernandez. Since Caicedo is yet to finalize a move to Chelsea, Enzo will likely partner the Englishman given his high-intensity press, and can create some attacking threat forward. My wingers would be Maduk on the right, and Mudrick on the left. Maduk's dribbling ability is perfect for the setup of this formation and can help create more chances for the left back who might overlap during counters, and allowing space for the right back to move into the space up the pitch. For attacking midfield position playing behind the striker would definitely be Nkunku. It is evident how effective he was for RB Leipzig playing behind Paulsen, where he scored 16 goals in the league. He can assure fans over 15 league goals if he often plays in this position. For the attacker I will go for Jackson as usual. He is the only promising current attacking talent we have in the squad even with Broja back from a torn ACL. That's my predicted lineup. Give us yours in the comments section. Support the channel by subscribing, liking the video and sharing. That's all we have, see you later with another video. Bye bye.